Hi, we are Ineke and Sibrigje and on the 1st of March 2023 we moved to France into an abandoned house. There is over 6000 square meters of land that hasn't had any love for the past 4 years. But we are here to change that. Our dream is to build a food forest. Come along on our adventures. Hi everyone, welcome to a new video and it's not that exciting because my plants are struggling from lice. So today I have to prevent the lice and getting some ways to get rid of them. And I will show you all the ways I'm gonna use and it's all natural. We don't use pesticides, so you can use it in your garden as well. They're all over the plants, eating them. They are eating my seedlings as well. This is broccoli. And in one night, they ate a lot of leaves. So we have to be quick, otherwise all the work was for nothing. So lice come in different colors and shapes. They can be black, green, small, some bigger. And they especially like roses, broccoli, uh, cauliflower and cabbages. The first way to prevent lice in your garden is putting some mint between your plants or next to your plants. And on this field, there's naturally growing a lot of mint. So I'm gonna scoop some mint out and put it in little boxes. So not my whole garden bed is gonna be mint because mint is spreading like crazy so i would recommend to put mint in just one pot and put some pots all around your garden and that's one way to prevent lice and other little insects because they don't like the smell of the mint now i'm gonna get some little pots from the garage i think they will work fine not too small but not too big so i can scoop them between some other plants take this in this piece of land we're making another garden bed and here is a lot of mint oh my gosh the ground is so hard There it is! <laughs> okay. I never saw before how mint is growing, but it's one string under with roots. And then after each three, four centimeters, they're growing another mint leaf. Like, whoa! <laughs> It's the next day and yesterday you saw me making some boxes with mint in it and the mint was very stressed so laying bleh. and now they had some water and now they're just looking fine so now I'm gonna plant them in between the plants who are suffering from the lice and now the smell can disturb them and hopefully they're gone. And now the second remedy, we're gonna make some garlic water. You grab one clove of garlic. It's a really big one. You cut it or you can bruise it. This was a very big garlic clove, so the half is good for one, one and a half liters of water. Give it a shake. And then you spray the water onto the leaves of the plant. And it is the smell that chases away uh, the lice. And the garlic water doesn't hurt your plants. It's just 
uh, smell and it does disappear and you can safely eat it. Do you smell it? Yeah, you really smell it. It's disgusting. <laughs> Another option is to hand pick the lice off the leaves and then you're gonna squeeze them between your fingers and leave the dead body of the lice on the leaves or near the plant. So the smell of the dead body lures uh, natural enemies. So then you get all the enemies of the lice in your garden and that's something you want. And he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> you tried. I tried. Another one. They're just jumping. Maybe squeeze them on the leaf. Yeah, you can squeeze them on the leaf. Look! And fourth option is to rinse them off with very cold water. You're getting cold water and putting it on the leaves. And don't forget the other side of the leaf. The lice don't like the cold water, so they're getting in shock and they will potentially leave your garden. Another thing you can do is making some metal fertilizer. I think you know it from making your free food for the plants. It's a fertilizer, but the lice don't like the smell of the fertilizer, so I'm gonna make it now. We have some nettle here, it's enough. You need a bucket and some gloves. And then you're gonna cut off your nettle. Now you have your nettle and you put them under water. And you know when it's ready, when the color is starting to brown. A few days ago I already made some fertilizer and that's ready now. It's a little bit brown. The longer you leave it in the water, the more intense color it gets and uh, the more nutrients for your garden is in a small amount. For this mixture, I'm gonna use one liter of this fertilizer and one liter of normal water. But when the color is really intense, then you can even use a 1 to 10 ratio with water. Otherwise, your plants get an overkill of the fertilizer and you don't want to do that too. Another option to get rid of the lice is putting some tomato leaves between your plants because the lice don't like the smell of the intense tomato leaves. And if you're thinking tomatoes don't smell intense, just squeeze the leaf and smell your fingers and you're like, whoa. One thing I'm doing is pruning the tomato when I have to prune them and then just taking the leaves to my cabbages. The way you see how you have to prune the tomato is that you're cutting off the suckers and the suckers are like in the armpit of the tomato and I'm gonna show you what I mean with it. You have the stem of the tomato and then here you have a small armpit like two out of one position and one of them is the sucker and I think this is a second stem because it's already getting flowers. So I'm getting rid of the armpit. And here you have a tomato leaf you can put in between your cabbages. One of the natural enemies of the lice is a ladybug. And I know there are some ladybugs here at the Yugo Vulture. So I'm gonna take a look if I can see a ladybug and then I'm gonna pick it and you can put them on your plants. I don't see Oh I see one. Ah yeah. One of the 
one of the other options is using green soap. You can put a little bit of green soap and putting it with some water and then you can rinse off the leaf with it. Some people using dish uh, soap when they're doing the dishes, but I wouldn't recommend that because you wouldn't normally eat that and it's not natural. So when you're picking your vegetables or your lettuce or your cabbages, then there's a lot of dish soap on the plant. So then you have to clean it very good. So just use ecological soap and then it's safe for you and the environment. An other option is to hang... Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Another other option is to hang some extra bird houses in your trees around your garden. Then you get more birds in your garden and birds uh, like to eat the lice. And the last one is uh, when you're eating banana, using the peel and put it in between your plants and the sweetness of the peel lures the lice on it and the lice gonna crawl on it and then you can get the peel off from your plants and just throw it away. So that's it. That's all the options you have to get rid of the lice. If you know another option that I did not mention in this video, leave a comment. And then we will see you in the next one.